The National Liturgical Architecture and Art Council is currently exploring that part of its mandate related to sacred art. We decided that the best way to tackle this area was to identify and describe good works of art for Australian churches and the liturgy. And so we decided to establish a website hosted by the Australian Bishops' Conference and supported financially by Liturgy Brisbane, which is now being officially launched. This website, art.catholic.org.au, featuring Australian Catholic liturgical art, was set up with its first articles at the end of 2019. Now, 18 months later, there are almost 30 illustrated articles highlighting art and artists, stained glass and sculpture, liturgical vestments and vessels, as well as identifying good churches. These articles have been written or commissioned by members of the NLAAC. The material is original and all Australian, and it requires the approval of the Council uh, before it's published on the website. This is an ongoing project, which in due course will be an extensive database and a reference point for Catholic art in this country. It's intended for priests and seminarians, for parishes renewing their liturgical space, for architects and artists, for teachers in schools and students doing art projects, for those doing research on Catholic art, new and old. It's our hope that this launch today will make the website known and also serve as an invitation to all Australians to make their own contribution. The NLAAC welcomes all submissions. The National Liturgical Architecture and Art Council was established by the Bishops' Conference in 2010. We've worked hard in this decade. Our first project was to produce a national design brief for building new churches. This was approved and published in 2014 and when churches are to be built, preparation, planning and construction of places of worship. We then embarked on the second part of our mandate to address heritage issues in the renovation of existing churches. And in 2018, we published our second policy document, a companion document fit for sacred use, stewardship and the renewal of places of worship. We are now in the third phase of our work to address sacred art. We've taken a broad view of Catholic art because the church has not adopted any particular style or form of art as its own. Whatever is good and true can contribute to the noble beauty of acts of worship and leads to a new appreciation of the infinite beauty of the Creator God.